Okay, I really hope that <laughs> this framing's okay. Kind of in the monitor, the too much headroom is bugging me. But I'm just going to leave it like this because, like, the background is kind of lined up how I would want it to be. I'll figure it out. Okay, maybe I'll just sit like this. This is uncomfortable. All right. Hey, loves. My name is Jessica Diamond, and welcome to my channel where you doing another cult episode review kidding. As you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my recent favorites. It's been a hot minute since I've really posted any makeup related video on my channel and I do apologize for that. I'm not gonna say why or give excuses or anything, but the point is I'm here now and we're gonna do my recent favorites that kind of fall that I've been loving between July until September. Thank goodness September's over. October. October is my favorite month and it just so happens to be my birthday month. 28 on the 28th. Yeah, that's that's a thing. <laughs> I'm just going to jump right on into my favorites. I'm actually going to start with non-beauty products because that's the less I have. So please sit through this so you can see the makeup products that I have been loving. This candle from Bath & Body Works by White Barn called Bourbon Butter Scotch. The notes are, where are the notes? Caramelized sugar, warm butter, and a drop of rich bourbon. You don't even have to light this candle for this to work. First off, I love the scent, of course. I mean, that's really the main reason why you put a candle in a favorites video, right? Is because of this butter scotch scent with a little hint of bourbon. I can't really smell the bourbon, but my sister can. I smell more butterscotch. She smells more bourbon. Before I even lit this candle, it was just sitting with, you know, the lid closed. It never been burnt, and it just filled up my room with the butterscotch bourbon smell. Um, so that's a pretty good thing for a candle to do, that it works even when it's not lit these earrings. I'm only holding one. They're from Forever 21. I have been loving Forever 21 minimalist earrings. It's kind of with the theme they've been going on with these geometrical kind of minimalist uh, vibes earrings and it's just a little circle with a dangling bar down there. And in the total opposite direction I have been loving these earrings by Kate Spade. The, I got these on sale. I had a 25% off coupon. I'm like, I'm, I'm treating myself. So I got these earrings so they weren't all that expensive. And I just wanted to let you know, occasionally Kate Spade does do 75% off of Pacific handbags. That's the only way I could ever afford. One of her purses is the 75% off deal. So if you ever see that floating around like on her Facebook or the internet, the 75% off sale is legit. I just wanted to throw that in there. But I love these earrings. Um, if it's not minimalist uh, jewelry that I love, I love pearls mostly. And I just love these little kind of double hoop. It is for only one ear piercing, so you don't have to have two holes two piercings for this earring is just one and it just kind of hoops around there my last favorite is a show called the orville <laughs> it is by seth mcfarlane and i don't usually like you know sci-fi shows i'm not really a trekkie I remember watching Stargate SG-1 with my dad so those are fond memories but I'm not into like Battlestar Galactica or anything like that. I obviously love a little bit of sci-fi or I wouldn't really love Marvel I guess. <laughs> I just I find the show has a lot of heart and it's funny. Sometimes it's crude humor but not really too much and I really hope it just gets through season one and hopefully goes on for at least like two more years or something because I really enjoy it. It just it has heart and it's refreshing in a way. So that's my TV recommendation. <laughs> on to beauty. I wish you could this sweatshirt. Don't sleep, just dream, even though I do love sleep. I don't know how beauty gurus like 
fix their hair in videos. It always bugs me. I'm just gonna throw out some beauty products your way, not in like a particular order or anything. I, let's just start with the most hyped up product. Um, millionth person like talking about these, probably the latest person talking about these, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. If you've been sleeping under a rock, Rihanna just decided to pretty much launch a whole collection excluding lipsticks which I was kind of disappointed in and she's also releasing a holiday collection which features eyeshadows and lipsticks kind of the things that weren't in her staple collection I have been loving this match stick in amber uh, pretty much everything I mentioned I do have on my face in some shape or form so this contour stick I love it it's kind of like a cream to powder it's very easy to use I am, <laughs> my ride or die is the Lorac powder contour, always has been. This is probably going to be the next best thing. I've tried cream contour and I just always find it being, I distribute too much on my face, which means blending is just impossible and it just looks bad. And not only is this color like a perfect match, so if you're fair or even light skin with a very cool undertone, this is perfect. It doesn't pull ashy, it doesn't pull too warm or anything like that. It doesn't make you look dirty, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> the color's great and you just, you know, draw a line on your face and you take a foundation brush. I've been using the Fenty Beauty foundation brush to blend it out, but I'm sure any would work fine. And it just blends so lovely. And yeah, it's just really easy to work with. And the other Fenty Beauty product I have is the Kilowatt Highlighter. Not in Trophy Wife, <laughs> but in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I love this so much. Fire Crystal's on this side and Lightning Dust is on this one. Lightning Dust is more of the muted subtle highlight and Fire Crystal's kind of the is the bam here's some glitter shimmery shiny. My cat is running around like an idiot which is nothing new. I'm wearing that on my face today. I have lightning dust on my nose and my chin and then fire crystal of course on my cheeks. I just, I love the duo. I love the subtle highlight for like my nose, my chin, sometimes my forehead or even my brow bone or anything. And then the bam highlight of course goes on the cheekbone and I just, I just really like it. It's a bam in your face highlight with some subtlety, which I do like every now and then. I'm sorry if my body is just like, ooh. Okay. Another favorite and hyped up product um, is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. If you can get your hands on this, do it. I am fair, cool undertones, pink, red. So I have fair neutral because I guess some foundation companies and concealer companies don't, they'll put fair warm They and they never have a fair cool. They have a fair neutral, that works with, sometimes I wish I had a fair cool, but this is great for hiding pimples, dark spots. I am kind of literally just have this as a very light handed foundation on my face. That's what I've been doing lately with concealer is just using it kind of as a foundation in my most trouble areas. And then I have a powdered MAC foundation on top of it lately. This is just so opaque, full coverage, creamy consistency. Um, everyone blew up about Tarte Shape Tape, and I do like that concealer, but I've had Tarte Shape, uh, longer, and I've had ColourPop for like two weeks, and I've used it more than sh Tarte Shape Tape, so you do the math on that. An unexpected product, I don't think this one would be a favorite at all, uh, I got it for free in my Gen Beauty uh, my Gen Beauty uh, attendance bag. I can't remember if it was attendance or volunteer. I do still have that video coming up. It's just like an hour long. And it's just kind of sitting there and I don't really know what to do with it right now. Anyway, and you know, I have like <laughs> no storage on my computer, so that's always fun. Okay, CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. First off, I mean, this wand just looks kind of freaky with this like these six little bristles down there, whatever. Sometimes I do use the shorter side for my inner corner lashes that like 
a normal like wand applicator can't get to. Now, I don't, it's just, it's easy to use. It goes on. It doesn't make my lashes look clumpy. I think it kind of makes them more volume me. Like, it makes me look like I have more lashes than I actually do. But I don't know. It works. doesn't make them clump clumpy. doesn't totally flake everywhere. I mean, if I'm wearing it for like 12 hours, of course, it's going to flake everywhere. But I don't know. I don't have really high standards for mascara. <laughs> Let's go on to lips. What I'm wearing is Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in Stevie. This color is just perfect for fall and perfect with my mustard eye looks I've been doing lately. Well, it looks good to me. So <laughs> I just, it's a matte lipstick. It's not very drying. It, goes on pretty easily. Let's talk about another very raised about product. Ciate Glitter Flip. I'm sure you've heard about these. They're a liquid matte lipstick. You let it set, dry to the matte, and then you rub your lips, and then bam, glitter. Now, these lipsticks <laughs> are actually pretty incredible. Not just because of the glitter aspect, but because they stay on. Glitter doesn't get anywhere, unlike the Kat Von D Glimmer lipsticks. I mean, I should do a review or comparison, yes? Give this video a thumbs up if you're still watching, and if you want a comparison between the Kat and Von D Glimmer Liquid Lipsticks and Ciate Glitter Flip. My favorite shade for the Ciate Glitter Flip has been Iconic. It's a black liquid lipstick. But it has a little shimmer, and then soon that shimmer pops into glitter of like these blues and purples, and I think there's silver in here. And it just looks freaking fantastic, like a little miniature galaxy on your lips. I like the other ones, but I just felt like the black one is kind of the more... Uh, there's more like of a transformation to it when you rub your lips together and then bam glitter. And I think it's going to be great for like Halloween and fall lookbooks coming up. I caved and got, I just spit on my lip. <laughs> I caved and got the bundle, the Kylie birthday collection when it was on sale, saved like 40 bucks. I would have saved a whole lot more if I just didn't buy it in the first place. But one of the things I do love from that collection is this liquid lipstick in 20. Now I haven't really worn a lot of her liquid matte lipsticks. I only, I only have like one of them and sometimes I forget about it but to be fair I have like literally 500 lipsticks. This color is also very fall. I don't find these to be too drying. You can layer them at least once or twice more like reapply them once or twice more before it becomes crusty and gross but I just love the color I mean really if the color is amazing and something I don't have like in a in a lipstick form then I'm gonna put my lips through the suffering and enduring a liquid matte lipstick formula um and that's the case with Kylie so <laughs> eyeshadow don't yell at me um Anastasia subculture. It's in my favorites. Go see my review. Don't believe all the shitty reviews out there, please. Just know they're basically pressed pigments and you just have to learn to work with them. They're not crappy because they're fucking ass pigmented <laughs> and bright and beautiful. You just have to work with them. <laughs> On my lid, I have edge over the top of mustard from Lime Crime Venus 2. And I just, I love Edge. I've been using this palette and haven't hit pan, but I've been using it quite a bit. So, um, sorry. <laughs> Those who have recommended Subculture 2, like some, my best friend and a few of my other friends, they've had no problems with Subculture and they're not advanced, like, makeup artists. I'm not an advanced makeup artist or anything and I don't have a problem with this palette. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I just, I love this palette. I love the colors. Can't wait to use this more during the fall season. Unpopular opinion. Yes. Rebeling. Hyped up Naked Heat palette that I, I did a whole video on also. And I thought this would only be great for a summer palette, but once I'm looking at it more for like all those 
warm tones and some deeper tones and they're all orange and berries. It's going to be a great fall palette. I have been loving to use Chaser and Sauce for like my uh, crease for any eyeshadow look I ever do and cha Ounce for the brow bone and I just freaking love this palette. Last product is also another very hyped one and I just want to let you know when I name something my favorite I mean it. Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. I'm going to be honest with you. I am pretty much over the Too Faced brand. But if they keep releasing these peachy <laughs> things, I'm going to, I'm a sucker for the peach. I love the Sweet Peach, the Sweet Peach palette. And I love the Just Peachy Mattes palette. When I've used my Sweet Peach palette, I'm like, I wish I had more peachy matte shades in here. And they listened or, you know, saw it as another mark getting our opportunity Pfft, words it's beautiful now the smell I don't think it's as overpowering as a sweet peach palette is but I also like the smell of it so I'm not a good judge on that because <laughs> I like the smell but I can't smell it when it's like right here I can only smell it when like my nose is touching the palette but for the sweet peach palette I could have my face over here in the palette and then I could smell it. These are pigmented, blendable, pretty colors. I could probably use a few of these for the fall as well. Just I'm really kind of over Too Faced. But for me saying that, so since I'm over Too Faced and saying that this is one of my favorites, I mean it. All right. Um, hi, baby. Let them see your face and not your cute pale ass. Alright loves, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. What are some of your recent favorite products below? Have you tried any of these products I mentioned? Do they work for you? Do they, do you, do they love you? Do you love them? If not, if yes, let me know. If not, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to love others, but first and foremost, always love yourself because you're beautiful no matter what anyone else says. Bye! Bye. Watch.